Alan, good to have you on. Listen, there was some, I'm going to butcher it, but there's some Alan Greenspan quote back in the day that was something like, if you understood what I said, then I misspoke. And when I, when I heard the press conference yesterday, following the press release, it was like two separate organizations put each one out. Or did, I mean, they, they totally contradicted each other. How do you read the Federal Reserve right now? Because they do matter a lot for stocks. Sure. I, I always, you know, that's a, a great quote, by the way. And, you know, I really think that the Fed is pivoting a little bit. I do think I, I read more into what was written because that's when they're really careful about the words, right? And I, what I see is sort of a dovish pivot. They're saying, look, we're still going to fight inflation, but look, let's, let's recognize the fact that we've had a cumulative impact from all of these hikes that we've already had. And maybe we can, you know, slow down a little bit and not go so aggressive moving forward. You, you've got to understand that the, the data on inflation is not going to move overnight. And I, I think that the, the Fed is wise to make a slight pivot to be a bit more dovish. Yeah, especially with some of the wage gains that we have seen. They are what economists, I believe, would call sticky. And I hate to bring politics up. We've got five or whatever, six days to the midterms. So I kind of have to here, Alan. And everybody was attributing this recent rally we've had to the Federal Reserve. I was talking to a lot of people on air, off air, who were saying, eh, it might have more to do with the polls that were shifting a bit. I'm not saying one is right or one is not. But do, do the midterms matter for equities right now? Absolutely. I think the midterms are a huge catalyst in the near term, right? The, the, the midterms are always a source of volatility. And as it gets closer to the polls, you start to get more of an, an expectation of who's going to win. And, you know, you tend to, to find a market that does better. The stock market does better in a divided government. And it looks more and more like we're moving in that direction. And that's a net positive for the market. And so I do think that once it's decided, once the uncertainty is over, midterms are done, I do think that stocks should take off, at least in the short run, although there's certainly a lot of headwinds for a lot of other reasons. I do think the midterms matter. Yeah, just another reason to watch on Tuesday as well. Is there any part of the market that you like more than others right now, Alan? Sure. I, I think that right now it's interesting. You know, Dom highlighted the stocks that are doing well today and what's not doing well. And a lot of the growthy stocks, companies that are investing in R&D and, you know, th those things matter and th those are great moves for the long run. But when you're potentially teetering on a recession, you really want to look to companies right now where, the, the, you know, they may be good dividend payers. Historically, maybe they were doing a lot of buybacks. We analyzed the stock market based on the use of cash and just found that when you're heading into a recession, the better buy is the company that has a nice dividend yield and has also been doing buybacks. And if you can find companies with a high free cash flow, meaning they're earning a lot of money but paying out a small percentage, that's a great buy right now. Yeah, and if you believe the markets are going to take off, you know, you want to buy low. We're seeing multiples and valuations come back to median or below median levels right now. Uh, American International Group, Alan Boomer, real pleasure to have you on the exchange and CNBC. We will see you again. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. All right.